Five antiquated places older than Egypt's pyramids. The Tilt Saf Charcoal. The remnants of an ancient village in Dura in Israel, situated in the Jordan Valley, distinguishing itself from contemporaneous settlements due to a unique factor, charcoal. Although initially mundane, archaeological examination revealed that this charred material dated back 7,000 years. Remarkably, the wood originated from olive and fig trees, challenging expectations. The specimens evidenced early cultivation of fruit trees, underscoring that the prosperity of olive and fig horticulture predates even the construction of the pyramids. This discovery not only offered the earliest instance of such agricultural practices, but also highlighted the tree's role beyond sustenance and firewood. They proved to be lucrative assets, as evidenced by the numerous silos in most homes, capable of storing copious amounts of crops, far exceeding individual family needs. This strongly implied that the village engaged in long-distance trade, specializing in dried figs and olive oil. The Vina Roundel, 7,000 years old. The most ancient evidence of architectural endeavors in Europe takes the form of enigmatic earthworks known as roundels, scattered prolifically throughout Central Europe. As their name implies, these structures are circular, and their presence is conspicuous across the landscape. One notable instance, the Vina Roundel in the Czech Republic, was initially unearthed by construction excavators in the 1980s. However, it wasn't until 2022 that the remains underwent comprehensive excavation. The nature of this structure remains perplexing, but scholars posit that it could be attributed to a Stone Age community utilizing the roundel as a gathering place approximately 7,000 years ago. This specific edifice boasted a diameter of 180 feet, 55 meters, and featured three entrances. The inhabitants likely belonged to the Stroke Pottery Culture, a community of farmers and adept longhouse constructors who thrived in the region between 4900 BC and 4400 BC. The Armaverana Grave, 10,000 years old. In 2017, a somber revelation unfolded during archaeological excavations in Italy's Armaverana Cave as researchers stumbled upon the gravesite of a baby girl. Despite the poignant nature of the find, it sparked significant interest among the scientific community. Ancient infant burials of this nature are exceptionally rare in Europe. The infant, affectionately dubbed Neve, garnered attention for another reason. Her grave, dating back 10,000 years, established her as the oldest female child ever unearthed in Europe. Neve's burial brought forth a solution to a seemingly straightforward yet elusive question, how did people transport their infants in that era? Initial speculation leaned towards the use of animal skins or biodegradable fabrics for crafting baby slings, potentially explaining the absence of surviving examples in the modern era. Neve, however, presented the first tangible evidence of this practice. In 2022, a subsequent study delved into the shells surrounding her remains. The arrangement of the shells and Neve's body posture strongly indicated that she had been interred in a shell-adorned baby sling, likely the same one her parents used to carry her during her brief life. The LSU Mounds, 11,000 years old A casual glance might lead one to dismiss the LSU Mounds on the Louisiana State University campus as mere elements of landscaping. After all, it's not the typical setting for the earliest human-made structures in the Americas. However, these carefully maintained grassy elevations have a remarkable history, dating back a staggering 11,000 years, particularly Mound B, which stands out as the older of the two. Recently, as researchers ascended the 20-foot, 6-meter slopes, they extracted cores containing ancient clay, ash, plants, and animal bones, establishing Mound B as the record holder, while Mound A was determined to be 7,500 years old. The mounds weren't hastily constructed. Evidence suggests that indigenous people dedicated millennia to their formation, continually augmenting them with layers of clay and burning organic materials. 
Intriguingly, approximately 6,000 years ago, when both mounds reached completion, they aligned with a prominent celestial body known as Arcturus. The East Kalimantan Grave, 31,000 years old. In 2020, a significant archaeological discovery unfolded in a limestone cave in Borneo, revealing a skeleton with a missing left foot. Typically, an incomplete skeleton poses challenges for researchers as crucial information may be lost. However, in this instance, the team found cause for celebration. Approximately 31,000 years ago, the individual underwent a remarkably skillful foot amputation and lived for nearly a decade thereafter. This revelation is particularly astonishing considering the surgeons operated in a pre-agricultural and pre-permanent settlement era, periods often considered by historians as prerequisites for the development of advanced medical practices. The skeleton stands out as a potential contender for the world's oldest case of medical amputation. The perplexing question arises, how did these hunter-gatherers possess the knowledge to discern when limb removal was necessary for health reasons? Furthermore, how did they acquire the expertise to provide pain relief during and after significant surgery, navigate around veins and nerves, control major bleeding, and prevent post-operative infections? An achievement seemingly incongruent with the era's perceived medical capabilities? Thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed this video and want more exciting content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned for future videos, and I can't wait to have you as part of our community. Until next time, take care and keep exploring.